Welcome to this week's Tackle Warehouse Vlog. For the last time we're here out in the old warehouse because next week we're going to be moving to our new location. Not really looking forward to actually the moving process itself, but we're going to get a, a bigger location. I have a lot more room to carry a lot more products, so I'm stoked on that so we can get you guys some more stuff. The first product we have today is from the Mega Strike family. This is the Evolution line of jigs. This is Evolution Shaky 2 jig. First thing you tell us, a really different looking uh, jig head style here. The design serves a couple different purposes. Uh, the first is a, it's a very balanced jig, so when it falls, it falls nice and vertically. And when it lands, it lands on the back here, which they call their skid plate. And the skid plate actually acts as a fulcrum. And what that does is with this, the jig here, the, the front of the jig head here acts as a, a counterbalance. So when you're working the jig across the bottom, it will slide on that skid plate. And when it comes to a rest, that counterbalance head will roll forward, standing your worm up. Or if you've got a, a plastic craw on there, it puts that plastic craw in nice defensive posture. It also has a recessed line tie there to keep you out of the rocks and the weeds. And there are two different ways you can rig your plastics on this guy. You can use the front portion here and just rig it for a weedless presentation. Or you can put it on the hook shank here for an exposed hook or anywhere you want to fish in open water. The keeper on this guy is kind of like a triple collar keeper here, so it's going to do a real good job of keeping your plastics from sliding off. They also make a couple jigs. The first jig we have here is their finesse jig. Same head design, but it ha and the skirt here is a finesse style skirt or that, the new mullet style skirt with the top portion of the skirt trimmed nice and short up there. It also has a really cool fluorocarbon weed guard, which gives you a nice natural presentation when you're using your jig. It's got a medium wire hook, real sharp Gamagatsu hook on there. It also has that same collar uh, style keeper on there to keep your plastic on there nice and tight. Now they also make a heavy cover jig. Once again, same head design, uh, same fluorocarbon weed guard on there, a little beefier heavy wire hook. This jig actually has a full body traditional uh, skirt design here. This is a really cool color. This color actually here is a Booyah Craw color. Real cool, cool looking uh, heavy cover jig. We also got a few new jigs in from Booyah. This first jig here is a Booyah A jig. This is one of the jigs that Alton Jones used at Lake Hartwell to win the Bassmasters Classic. As you can tell, it's a kind of a mop, real large profile style jig. It's got real heavy uh, living rubber on there, as well as some colored silicone here for a little added extra color. All these jigs are all hand tied, so you don't have to worry about the skirts coming off. And these guys are built on the traditional uh, Booyah uh, jig head design there with a nice soft weed guard and real sharp hook on there. Now, Alton also used a prototype version of this pigskin jig here. Pigskin jig is built on the traditional uh, Booyah football head jig. But what makes this jig different is it utilizes a fine living rubber style here, so you got a lot of good flair and action when the jig's on the bottom. and also uses some colored silicone on here for some really cool uh, co color combinations. These jigs are also hand tied. Like I said, it's built on the old uh, Booyah football head, so it's got the nice soft we guard and a nice extra wide gap hook on there. Fall is just around the corner. We all know fall is a great time to start throwing your crankbaits, rattle traps, and buzzbaits. We got a few buzzbaits to sh show you here first. This first buzzbait is from Cavatron. Cavatron is part of the Mega Strike family as well. Got these really cool colored anodized blades. All their blades are actually chemically treated to add a little extra squeak when you're working your buzzbait there. They also have four drilled out holes to give you a nice cool bubble trailer across the top of the surface there. It also has this bent arm design and keel head here, so it's going to plane up real nice. It's going to track nice and true. Real nice, cool looking skirts on these guys and some oversized Gamagatsu uh, red hooks. We also have a new buzz bait from Booyah. This is the Booyah Peps, Pip Squeak. This is a really cool color here. This color is actually called Sherbert. It's got a real cool looking uh, painted blade here. All the blades are painted different to match the, the, each different skirt. Also has two drilled out holes on here to give you that bubble trailer effect like on that Cavatron. But where this blade gets its name and makes it really cool is it's how squeaky it is. You can hear, hear this guy here, it's really squeaky. Makes a lot of noise that's going across the top there. This also has a kind of a diamond shaped uh, keel head design to get it to plane up there. With some painted on, hand painted eyes and scale design to give it a little added realism. Real nice full body skirt and a couple strands of mylar in there to give it a little added flash. One thing I really like about this buzz bait is it has a leverage hook system on there. It's going to be real hard for those fish to throw the hook. 
It's got a real sharp, sharp TX3 hook on there as well. We also got a few new colors and bait styles in from Jackal. First up is a few new colors and their crankbaits. These are the MC60 MR versions. They run about seven feet, nice small profile cranks. Um, this guy is their black gold color. They also have a hot tiger, as well as their perfect craw. Their JR purple chartreuse, kind of a uh, table rock color right here. A uh, sexy shad, and of course a ghost sexy shad. Now these are also available <clears throat> in their MR SR versions, or sorry, their MC60 SR versions. It's a little sh shorter bill here. The guys, these guys go about same profile, and they dive about four feet. Now all these colors are also available in the Jacko Muscle Deep 10 and 15 plus, as well as their new 7 plus. As the name implies, this guy dives about seven feet. It's about two and a half inches long. Weighs about a half ounce. It's a really cool little small profile uh, deep diving crank. They also came out with those colors, or most of those colors, in their Jackal lipless crankbaits, their TN70 and their new TN60 size. The TN60 is a 2.3 inch bait. It weighs just under half ounce at 9 16 of an ounce. And they actually came out with a new color just in the lipless cranks here. It's their blue chrome. That blue chrome color is only available in the TN60 and the 2N70, TN70 uh, lipless cranks. Thanks for checking out this week's vlog. Make sure to check back in two weeks for some new products from Daiwa. Before I let you go, I'd like to give a quick thanks to the guys from Optimum for taking us out tuna fishing last week. Had a, lot of, had a good time and caught a lot of fish.